Want to hear an amazing story? Back in 1960, Coach Brooks was on the Olympic hockey team. But a week before the games, his coach cuts him and sends him home. And that team went on to win the gold medal without him. Herb Brooks had given up his dream of Olympic glory <laughs> until 20 ordinary kids. Why'd you want to play hockey? This isn't it obvious for the girls. <laughs> Gave him a second chance. The Soviets win. My goal is to beat them at their own game. Beat the best team in the world. Gold medalist in 64, 68, 72, 76. Name? Mark Johnson. Buzzy Schneider. Michael Ruzioni. You're missing some of the best players. I'm not looking for the best players, Craig. I'm looking for the right ones. They were bitter rivals. A lot of guys from Minnesota and Boston. Yeah, that's going to work. But one coach had a plan to turn them into a team. I got no time for quitters. You want me to play, huh? I want you to be a hockey player. I am a hockey hey. player. I think that'll get them going. Oh, yeah. When you face the impossible. Russians' main weapon is intimidation. This guy's ever swell. The Russians, they get shot if they smile. And you refuse to give up. I didn't think it was going to be this hard. Yeah, you did. We start becoming a team right now. Miracles can happen. When you pull on that jersey, the name on the front is more important than the one on the back. Michael Ruggioni. Who do you play for? I play for the United States of America. Welcome to the Olympics, gentlemen. Walt Disney Pictures presents. This is something that this country is ready for. Great moments are born from great opportunity. If we play them 10 times, they might win nine, but not this game. Listen to it. We can beat these. For my film, I chose the 1980 Miracle on Ice, directed by Stephen Hillard Stern. This film is based on a true story about the 1980 U.S. men's Olympic hockey team and their amazing upset against the Soviet Union. This film is a great example of the underdog story. The Soviets back in this time were seemingly the best team in the world, possibly unbeatable especially after the U.S. lost to them 10-3 to in a scrimmage at the beginning of this film. The team is a mixture of a lot of kids from Minnesota in the northeast part of the U.S., more specifically, Boston. During the film, the players from Boston and Minnesota have a bunch of tension due to the history that they share in college hockey, which carries over into practice and leads to many fights. Herb Brooks takes in the notice of the horrible stuff that's going on in practice and after a horrible scrimmage loss, reminds them that they are playing for what's on front of the jersey and not what's on the back. He makes them go do up and downs after the game until they realize that they are playing for the U.S. and that the stuff between the players is nothing anymore, that they need to set aside all of the beef and any of the beef that they may have if they want any chance at beating the Soviets in the Olympics. So they come over all the attention and the differences in order to compete to win the gold medal. And after a lot of hard long practices and one amazing motivational speech later, coach Herb Brooks is able to pull off the ultimate underdog story in Olympic history, beat the Soviet Union and lead the United States their second ever gold medal. This film adds a great example of how much it takes to accomplish a goal and what it truly means to be great in sports. It is a great film for our class because it covers one of the greatest moments in U.S. sports history and does a great job showing how the emotions in the players and how they are able to overcome their differences and the rivalries and the tension that they have in practice set it all aside to beat the Soviets in the Olympics. The film is about one of the greatest comebacks in all of sports history. It is a cultural icon in the hockey world, in the Olympic world. Back at home in Minnesota, everybody has seen this movie. Doesn't matter whether you were a hockey player, a hockey fan, or anything to do with hockey. Everybody in Minnesota
is seeing Miracle on Ice because it truly is one of the greatest underdog stories in all of sports.